After this video, you will exactly know how to make this awesome looking slow-mo in After Effects while using the Twixter plugin. So your videos can finally blow up on social media and get a lot of attention. And Twixter is an awesome plugin which you can use to create a smooth slow-mo on any video, no matter the FPS. It uses a super optimized technique to maintain a high quality. So it's optimal for people who want to edit with movie shots, which we're going to do. And if this sounds interesting, let's launch our After Effects and start editing. So in my case, I'm going to put the slow motion onto these two clips of Son Goku. And before adding the effect, we're going to have to make some tweaks to the footage. So just go ahead, select both of the clips. And first of all, we're going to disable the audio of them. Head to the left and click the speaker symbol. Now next, we're going to enable motion blur and frame interpolation. Really important, click this window twice. Now by enabling this frame blending option, we are just going to allow the frames of our video to transition way smoother. And obviously, we always want to have the smoothest results possible. So we're going to take advantage of the setting. And now before adding the actual tweaks effect to our layers, we're going to have to pre-compose them first. This will just isolate them and put them into a separate composition. And to do that, just select the layer you want to pre Compose, right click onto it, go to pre compose, select the bottom option, very important, enable this check mark and press OK. Now do the same for the next clip. And now we're gonna get to the juicy part because it's time to add our Twixer effect. And to do that, we're now gonna go to the right and open the effects and presets panel. Now in here, just search for Twixer Pro, choose the first option and drag it onto your clip. Now if you search Twixer up but nothing pops up for you, don't worry, it's just because you don't have the plugin installed. And if you wanna get it for free right now, make sure to check out the link in the description to my Discord server. You can get free overlays, plugins, and presets on there, so take the opportunity and join right now. And now to maintain the high quality, it's also important to not disregard the settings we have given within the Twixer effect. These also play a key factor in the smoothness that our edit is gonna have next to the keyframe values. So the first setting we wanna change here is the in FPS is out FPS. Just disable the little check mark next to it. And as you can see, you can now change the input frame rate. Very important, here you wanna put the frame rate that your clip has. So to find that out, make sure to open the project tab, then click onto your footage, your scene pack, whatever, and you should see right here. As you can see, for me, it says 23.976 FPS. So I'm gonna go back to the effect settings and put the same value in here 23.976 next setting we're going to change is the image prep just put it from non to contrast slash edge enhance then go to frame interpolation and set it from blend to motion weighted blend last but not least we're going to change the warping from interverse to interverse with smart blend and now to actually make our animation and have it go from fast to slow we're going to have to add keyframes with the keyframes we can just mark the speed value at a certain time and place so to create one just go to the beginning of your clip go to the speed percentage value and click this little stopwatch next to it now we're going to change the value from 100 to 250 and go ahead approximately 10 frames on our timeline. Now set this value from 250 down to 65 and what we've done now is basically create the slow motion effect meaning the speed is now going to change from 250 to 65 percent. But because we don't only want our clip to be fast at the beginning but also at the end again we're going to do the same procedure over again but reverse. So go 10 frames before your clip ends press U on your keyboard while having the layer selected you can now see the keyframes. Just create another one for 65 percent and now go to the end where your clip is over and set this value back up to 250. Now when you play our animation, you can already see that we have a slow-mo effect, but obviously this does not look good at all. And now to change this and make it look way smoother, we're gonna adjust the graphs. Because right now our animation is just linear. And by changing your graphs, we can adjust the speed in which our animation is playing in. And now to change the graphs, we're just gonna select all the keyframes at once, right click onto them, go to keyframe assistant and hit easy ease. Alternatively, you can just press 9 if you're lazy. And now we can open the graph editor, which is this window right here. I'm gonna zoom in so it's easier to see for you. And as you can see, we can now adjust these graphs by just clicking onto them and then dragging along these yellow handles. And the way we want our animation to be is fast at the beginning and fast at the end again. To achieve this look, we're now gonna go ahead, select this first handle right here and drag it to the left a bit just like this. Now go to the one at the top and drag it straight down till it's about here. This is just gonna make the animation fast at the beginning but as earlier we're also gonna apply the reverse of that to the end. So go ahead select this keyframe and now drag the handle into the opposite direction till it's about the same size right here. Then go to the top one as well and drag it straight down just like we did before. And now to change this flat graph that we have in the middle right here which looks kind of ugly we're just gonna click on these keyframes and drag them a little bit above. Do it till you have this kind of smooth curve but don't do this too much just a little bit so it gets rid of that stiffness. Once that's done we can now close the graph editor again and if you don't play your clip you can see it already looks way better and don't worry you don't have to make this animation over and over again for every time you want to use it you can either just save it as an animation preset or copy and paste it onto the next clip to do that we're just going to select all the keyframes at once because obviously we want them all to be applied to our next clip and then we're going to head to the top left and select the twixer effect as well so that the effect settings we changed earlier are also copied now press ctrl and c on your keyboard head to the beginning of the next clip and press ctrl and v as you can see you now have this effect on here as well and if you press u to bring up the keyframes you can also see that they're on here 
here. But as you can see at the moment, they don't fit because this clip is slightly longer than the other one. Actually, I'm kind of familiar with long things. But anyway, if you want to now adjust them, just select all of them at once. And while pressing Alt on your keyboard, make sure to drag them ahead till they fit your liking. And by using this little technique, you're not only going to save a lot of time because you don't have to adjust them all manually, but you're also going to save the same aspect ratio between them. And if you are enjoying this video, a sub to the channel would be a spectacular. And after you applied the keyframes to all your clips, we're gonna get to the most important step, which is gonna be adding a good color correction. Because as you can see, adding a good color correction can increase the quality of your edits immensely. I can't say this often enough because a good color correction can boost the quality of your edits from being extremely low to extremely high. So if you wanna get ahead of other editors and unlock your full potential on After Effects, make sure to check out the first link in the description right now. You can get up to 70% off of the presets that I use to boost the quality of my edits to the top. So it's an absolute no-brainer and a great opportunity that you shouldn't miss out on. First link in the description. And once you've completed all these steps, this is what your final result should look like. In my opinion, this turned out great. So let me know in the comments down below what you think. Also, check out this video if you now want to add some smooth zoom ins on top of this juicy looking Twixter. I heard it's gonna boost your followers by 200%. And in all seriousness, if you have been enjoying this video, I would really appreciate if you would check out my channel. I upload weekly After Effects tutorials, so click subscribe if you don't want to miss out. As always, thank you so much for watching. Have a good rest of your day. Assalamu alaikum and see you next time.